This video shows the lab testbed of the low-cost upstream solution based on a statistical OFDM PON carried out during European FP7 project accordance. The experimental setup consisted of two optical network units which were modulated with real OFDM data saved in an arbitrary wavelength generator transmitting at 6.25 giga samples per second. The low part of the spectrum corresponded to ONU1, that is, it used the first half of the subcarriers while the upper part of the spectrum was for ONU2. Both ONUs were then combined in a 1 to 16 splitter and traveled through 25 kilometers of single mode fiber. The complete optical signal was detected with a single photodiode preceded by an optical amplifier. The electrical signal was then sampled with a 50 GHz real-time oscilloscope which also processed and decoded the frames with a single FFT. A wavelength tuning system based on temperature and current control was developed to separate the ONU's optical spectrum in order to reduce optical bit interference. Here is experimental setup of UPC lab in Barcelona, Spain. The system was also tested at KIT in Karlsruhe, Germany, where also a downstream signal was launched to show bidirectional transmission. The results of the optical bit interference reduction when tuning the ONU's are presented first. On the left side, the optical spectral separation of the ONU carriers is shown, while on the right side, the received constellations of a VPSK test signals and their beta ratio is presented for both ONUs. It is noticed that at an optical separation of 0 0.10 nanometers, both constellations are well defined, though the beta ratios are close to the limit of 10 to the minus 3, which was considered a threshold for proper detection. A further increase to 0 0.12 nanometers of spectral separation allows both ONUs to transmit below the performance limit defined. Both ONUs are left with this optical spectral separation for the remaining tests. Performance tests. The bandwidth available for each ONU was reduced by settings of carriers to zero to improve their performance and allow more electrical separation between them. This short video found in MATLAB libraries was used as data for transmission. The video was transformed into bits, which were mapped to either BPSK or QPSK and then modulated into OFDM with Hermitian symmetry to get real signals. In the receiver, data was decodified, demapped, and then the received file was played as video. The video was coded into 4,500 OFDM frames, giving more than 1 million samples, which was the memory limit of our instrument. The first four frames were for synchronization, and the second four were for training a one-tap equalizer in the OVDM decoder. The performance is shown in these screens. The upper part indicates the ONU number, modulation type, and bandwidth percentage allocated for each ONU. The low left screen plots the constellation and the bit ratio of the received signal, while the low right window plays the received video for both ONUs, the upper part for ONU1 and the lower for ONU2. Firstly, both ONUs had 43.75% of the bandwidth with VPSK data that is, 112 subcarriers each, and the received bit error ratio was above the threshold with a terrible video quality. We then reduced the bandwidth for both ONUs to 25%, that is, 64 subcarriers. ONU1 is now detecting properly, but ONU2 is still above the quality threshold. The bandwidth of ONU2 is then lowered to 12.5%, that is, 32 subcarriers. Both ONUs detect properly evidently with less data for ONU2. We now try to optimize the bandwidth allocated for the ONUs. In other words, we search for the maximum bandwidth for each ONU with a detected bit error ratio above the quality limit. It was observed that giving 31.25% of the available bandwidth to ONU1 and 21.88% to ONU2 was the limit for both being detected at a satisfactory level with sufficient video quality. We then changed the modulation format of ONU1 to QPSK, giving 25% of the bandwidth to both ONUs, that is, 64 subcarriers each. The bit error ratio was below the limit for both ONUs, but there were some errors in the video. We then tried to improve the quality by reducing the bandwidth of ONU2 to 21.88%, that is, 56 subcarriers. Now, the video quality is satisfactory for both ONUs. As a final test, we changed the modulation format of ONU2 to QPSK. With both ONUs having 25% of the bandwidth, only ONU1 is below the quality limit. 
In order to improve 0.U2, its bandwidth was reduced to 15.63%, or 40 subcarriers. Now both ONUs are detected properly and videos played with quality. Thanks for watching.